Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better, shoot stack hey, cheddar, hey, uh. I know you waiting for another episode, uh, another episode, I know you been waiting for another episode, I know you been waiting, yeah, let it fucking go. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crush can of brew from the fucking stove Yo Oh shit. <laughs> What's good? Welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lil Bo Peep. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should go check it out. Got a lot of cool shit on there. Got some more cool shit coming in the coming days. I like to say coming to life. If you haven't noticed. <laughs> Cause that's all we want, right? Just want a little cum in our lives. Cummy hair. Cummy stomachs. Cummy vaginas. Cummy dicks. Cummy assholes. Anyways. Welcome back to Lord Perfected Work. Been missing y'all, man. Shit. So much going on in the world. All you want is a little peace. You know, uh, what's the song that my buddy came out with? Uh, hold on, let me fix this. I don't even know how y'all seeing this shit. Y'all shouldn't even be seeing this shit. Got to switch all in it. Oh, hold up. It's supposed to move it so you don't see the switch. <laughs> what's good? <laughs> if you watching this outside of Twitch, man, go make a Twitch account. Subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe at tier three, I will give you everything I'm about to put out for free. That's a lot of shit. Okay? And if you want to subscribe for free, all you got to do is have Amazon Prime. Support the channel, y'all. Make this channel even hotter. Shit. You see how live we get on here? <sighs> shit. Anybody else kind of tired? I'm not really tired. More or less, I'm just like thirsty. I'm thirsty as fuck. I should have got some water, but it's all good. I haven't put no water on my ancestor altar for like days now. I'm fucking up. That nigga's looking at me like, boy, we thirsty over here, playboy. Playboy, I'm right here next to your, you drinking water next to me, playboy. Playboy, I'm thirsty, playboy. That's what they be saying to me, man. I'm like, damn, I don't know what y'all want me to do, man. Over here trying to heal myself and I done got set up today, boy. Look, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of hot right now. I'm pissed off, but it's cool. That's why I got on here, you know, let some steam off. I always try to keep my personal life personal, so I ain't gonna talk exactly why I'm pissed off. But I will say this I love y'all. I appreciate y'all coming on here, watching the channel, you know, making, making shit worth it, because, you know, it's, it just makes it worth it. And I guess by watching the channel, I mean me. <laughs> this is my therapy session. 
It's how I get shit off my chest, you know what I'm saying? Even though I don't got no titties, but. I was working towards having titties at one point. You know what I'm saying? Doing the push-ups and all that good stuff. And then I realized after six months of doing hard workouts, eating a fucking high-protein, high-carbohydrate, high high-fat diet, which basically means I was just eating a lot of fucking food of all variety types. I come to realize that it just wasn't meant for me to have that body. Really, I'm, I'm strong as fuck, but that's it. That's As far as looks, I, I have a dad bod, and, and I'm okay with that. I think women prefer dad bods over um, Arnold Schwarzenegger bodies. I think dudes more or less want to have a body that looks like that. Which, I guess that's cool. Because, you know, most dudes don't wear cool sneakers to impress girls. They actually wear cool sneakers to impress dudes. Which is weird to me already because so many niggas are machos. But then at the same time, they're like, bro, bro, you see, you you, you peep the Jordans? Are you peeping my Jordans, bro? Yeah, see, 1111 knows what's up. She says dad bods are hot. Um... Kudos to 1111 because she probably thinks my dad bought his hot. A blessing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I've had the muscular body, but not like super, super hardcore muscular body. Like I've had little pecs and little six packs and shit like that. But as far as like fucking muscle man you know, looking like a wrestler type shit. My body, I don't think it's possible for my body to get that big unless I eat, like, so much food and I lift weights for, like, eight hours a day. And when I lifted weights for two, three to four hours a day, my body still pretty much looked about the same, except I did get stronger, had more endurance, but I can do that just by simply, like, the yard work I do gives me a lot of endurance. I don't know how we got on this topic, y'all. So to the name of this stream today is Tell Me. And I know why you're thinking, like, why the fuck did you name the stream Tell Me? Well, I was listening to Drew Hill and Slum Village before I got on here. I'm, I'm probably going to put the headphones back on and play Slum Village while I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> so I guess right now, the most important thing that I, I myself... And focusing on is balancing divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy. And what comes with that? The responsibilities of that. Which, if I, if I was to really sit down and think about it, which I guess I can do that in front of y'all. I just really to sit down and think about balancing divine masculine and divine feminine energy. And how that pertains to me personally. And my life path and all these things I will probably say that <sighs> I'll probably say I should probably get more sleep for sure like real sleep cause you know I would consider that sleeping as a divine feminine thing cause I swear women sleep like bears I don't know very many men that sleep if they do at all and all the women that I know that don't sleep are very masculine. <laughs> They're like hardcore masculine. So, but that's just my interpretation. You know, we don't have to take this as the facts. I always try to try to tell y'all when it's opinion and when it's fact. Now, I'll be dropping a lot of facts on here, but that was an opinion for sure. Um. Self care, super feminine type thing, even though you would think that men would equate self care to masculine energy. So, you know, it could go either way. I don't really put gender on self care because it's something that pertains to the individual. So, I put it this way since I'm a dude and I do self care, that would be a masculine energy, right? That makes sense, right? And if I was focusing on things that I felt are feminine to me in my personal perspective because, you know, that's what spirituality is about. I think that would be like 
I don't know, princess type shit. Which to me, princess type shit is just being like graceful and um, tagged like some like some royal type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all know, like uh, I just think of Princess Peach and how she moves. She like flows. You know, she real graceful type motherfucker. Fucking beautiful things. I'm I'm sure men have beautiful things. You know what I'm saying? Dudes can be handsome, and if you want them, them dudes that be like, oh, I, I can't call another nigga handsome. Then maybe this uh, channel isn't for you, cause it's it's easy for me to just be like, yeah, that dude has like features that I wouldn't mind having. You know, I'm not on here saying I'm gonna suck this nigga's dick off. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's gay. <laughs> See, the robot has spoken. Self-care carries a lot of divine feminine energy because of the nurturing aspect. You heard it here first, kids. Nurturing oneself is like being a mother to yourself. You know, when you used to suck your mama's titty, when you sucking on your girl titty, that's why you sucking her titty. Granted, she might like it, but really you just hungry. So you didn't even know. <laughs> but yeah The nurturing aspect of self-care Is very divine feminine energy-esque But It can really go both ways as well You know A man Nurturing himself Would be like his father You know what I'm saying Fathers nurture as well They just nurture in a different way and tapping into that energy actually can help you a lot too. You know, helps you to become a better man and a better woman at the same damn time. So self-care is probably the most balancing thing that you could do as far as, as a spiritual tool in your spiritual system. Self-care is probably like, should be like one of the top things. If not number one, it should at least be number two. Which is why, you know, you take care of yourself and then you take care of others, which is why the self path is seeming real, real, real lovely to me, man. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is sounding real nice. But always remember, don't let your perspective be distorted by what other people's shit is because the easiest way to to break out is to solely just come up with your own shit for real <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said this on this channel but you gotta break out of the concepts of other people you're supposed to take those in and inspect them like okay mm -hmm. right right alright <laughs> you know it helps that's why if you have like a significant other that's probably the best person to practice that shit with. Because they always have the best points, I think. Shit, I don't know. 11-11 be on here dropping bombs. That's why a lot of the time, it's easy for me to agree with her. Because she, she just be knowing. She know a lot of shit, though, too. You know what I'm saying? We out here shitting on niggas from space. In a good way. <laughs> we shitting on niggas from space. <laughs> I kind of want to use that in a song, though. But anyways, yeah, man, just balancing that energy is probably the biggest focus for me and utilizing it in a way where it can help me on a mental level, a physical level, using that, using that energy of balancing out uh, feminine and masculine energy and putting it, sending it forward into the emotional, the physical the mental, the etheric realm, the rainbow realm, like just, just really, just hear me out here. Cause now you, when you balancing all these things, it's like 
it's like making a song for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause light spectrum is sound. All these things are the same thing. Everything is connected. We know this. It's like making a song. And we got our motherfucking song and we balancing this shit out to create this fucking perfect song within ourselves. And when you do that, you become the song. The lifestyle becomes the song. When you balance in by doing this lifestyle, you become that shit. It's not about doing it no more. You are that shit. After so long. See, that's the lesson that I'm learning right now is becoming the song. I don't want to be somebody who continues to work through a process when I already have my spiritual system. I just need to master it in myself and completely follow it through. You got to, you got to, bruh. I'm telling you, you got to. <laughs> when you when you see it through, my boy, my girl, <laughs> when you see that shit through, that's why niggas been saying that shit lately on all the posts I've been seeing. You got to see it through, my boy. That's why they telling me that shit for sure. You know I be telling y'all little. Little symbols and signs and shit. But lately, on the real, my thought process has been so much in creating my spiritual system for myself that my own, like, everybody who has, like, follows witchcraft and Wiccan and shit, like, they make their own, they create their own sigils and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Some use deities, some don't. 11-11 don't use deity, so I don't know what the fuck she getting information from, which is, like, creepy to me. That shit just, like, comes out of nowhere. Because, like, you know, everybody see the air and shit when the wind blowing, so it's kind of the same thing. Like, okay, the wind's blowing, but how sway? What is the force that makes the wind blow? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit's alive, nigga. <laughs> Science will tell you some bullshit, but we all know what it is. It's your boy, Lord Shoe <laughs> I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you're watching Lord Perfect at work. And question of the day is, why, why, does, why does the air move? What's moving the air? Do you know? <laughs> Anybody got the answer to that question on a scientific level? Your boy is curious. Don't get on Google either. I don't want to hear no fucking Google answer. Spirit feel like dancing. See? That, that's the type of answers I need. But well, somebody else got the answer. I know y'all know. Who got, the, who got the motherfucking answer? That's the real question. That's the real motherfucking question. Spirit feel like motherfucking dancing. Like Omarion. Remember he used to do that shit? Got an ice by sweat. Bruh. You know what? I love it on this planet. I used to fucking hate being a human. But every day I'm just realizing all the little stupid shit that's mundane as fuck that just makes being a human like even more worth it. Because when you take life so serious that you're just like, no, I have to follow. I have to follow this code. Brings me back to my awareness. I don't know why I got this like English accent, but y'all y'all get the point. Like it's just like so boring, bro. And you don't want to do nothing. It's just like, well, maybe I can find my ascension by not being boring as fuck. Which I which is funny because you know it's crazy how I got on my spiritual path by doing stupid shit. <laughs> straight up, straight up alcoholic whoremonger. Doing crazy shit out here Fucking Barking in the fucking streets And then Next thing you know I'm in the streets for real <laughs> Talking to all the wizards The real wizards <laughs> And then next thing you know I'm like back here Creating like the greatest music And then I end up moving to Atlanta Right after that Well I moved to Macon first But it's like damn all those, all those things, like, led me into where I am today, bro. It's just crazy, bro. Like, 
every time I think about that shit, I'm just like, damn, I really came a long way. Like, I could have been licking asshole for money, bro. Like, shit could have been crazy. I don't know what the fuck would have happened. I could have been eating balls for money, bro. Nah, probably not. But y'all get the gist of it. It could have been some real fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, y'all know I like to say outlandish ass fucking shit. So, it just is what it is. But that's how my spiritual journey came to even be was from stupid shit. So, imagine already being on some, like, hardcore shit most of my life. That's what I was on, like. I have to follow the code. It is leading me to my ascent. Like, I was on that shit my whole life. And then, like, nothing was happening. I mean, I'm, I'm capping. I end, up make, I end up moving to my dream place. And I end up making music. And I end up having my dream job. Like, I was actually doing a lot better. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I was doing a lot better. But that's what it takes, man. If if I stay on one thing after so long, it's it starts to become like a crutch anyways. Cause even now I'm kinda going through that with my with my personal lifestyle right now. It's like, damn, I wanna align with my shit, which is I I haven't been. When I was a line, bro, the best shit was happening to me. Even though every day was fucking crazy. Not one time did the police show up. Cause I really I could have been really fucked up, bro. I don't know how I got through all them years and, and nobody came and like hunted me down. So if somebody coming at you like, oh bro, you can't do it like this. You you fucking up. Your life is fucked. Just know. Don't listen to that motherfucker Because everybody's Everybody's path Is specific to themselves Don't listen to that motherfucker that, That's just a, a Self-righteous motherfucker Straight up Now Damn You know I just realized something bro I've been on here for 22 minutes And I just want to give a shout out to everybody who really be watching this channel. Like, y'all give me peace of mind for real. Like, I feel so much at peace. I, before I got on this shit, I was pissed, bro. I was pissed. Granted, I was talking to 11 11. She cooled me out, man. But, nigga, I was still pissed a little bit. But, like, man, I got on here and I'm just like talking. Even though I'm talking to her too. But it's just like, I feel like so much better. Just getting shit out. That's how I know this This is a part of what I'm supposed to be doing. And I tried to run away from this shit, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie. When I took them few days off from Twitch, man, I was like, fuck Twitch, man. I don't wanna get back on that shit. And you can ask 11-11, man, shit. I was like, fuck this shit, man. I'm not getting back on this shit. But I realized something, man. Like, this shit is therapy for me, for real. So for the people who watch this channel, y'all y'all sharing this shit with people and y'all actually fucking like interested in the information that I'm dropping on here. Yo, much love for real to you, your parents, your family, the motherfucking world. Cause y'all just make y'all making my life like so much so much less crazy. Sometimes I do be feeling like giving up, but I said from the jump of this stream, or not from the stream, but the jump of this channel that I'll never give up on y'all, right? But now I know why I said that. Cause it's a lot of people that give up on me that's fake. And they supposed to be my own fucking flesh and blood. You know niggas be coming at me about shit that ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Keep that shit to yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I drop knowledge, I drop knowledge because I feel like it's supposed to help you. See, when, when people coming at me about shit that I already know about, come on, man. I'm the most knowledgeable person you know. And you're going to try and sit here and game me about some shit that I know way more about than you. The least that you could do is respect me enough to understand what the fuck I'm trying to tell you. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not hearing that shit because I know where it's coming from. A place of ignorance. What you can do is just... Uh, agree to disagree <laughs> Move on Cause I'm, I'm too Rooted in myself 
you know, all day long, people telling me how hard-headed I am. But nigga, when has that ever served me wrong? Like, in my personal life, all the shit I ever did, it's the same, it's the same attitude that done got me here, bro. That's a Kanye, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I use the same attitude that done got me here. I be freeing myself from shit that people like, how you do it? Nigga, I can leave, man, if I want to. I can come and go as I please anywhere in this fucking world. I don't have nothing to, I don't have no fucking shit holding me down. You know what I'm saying? I, I can actually be around my family and like look out for them. Now, when I start feeling like it's toxic, then I'll motherfucking go. Because right now, my, my fucking mouth tastes like bacon. And that shit is blowing me right now. <laughs> but it's all good, you know what I'm saying? People do shit to people, man, because of ignorance. They think their way is the best way. I guess that's all people, right? But at the end of the day, we know what's really right and what's really wrong. And that's nothing. So, it, am I justified for me being upset about this shit? Hell no. Nah. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here by, around my family. I can, I can see my family. I can say hi to my mom and my dad. Both of my parents still together, married over as, as long as I've been alive to now. My brother's still here. My grandma's still here. So, I just chalk it up to an L, man. And I fucking am grateful for the fact that I'm able to even be close to my family members and see these niggas every fucking day, whenever the fuck I feel like it. And if I don't want to see them, I just pack my shit up and leave like I always do and go on an adventure. Even though it's funny that my family members think that my, my parents be funding my fucking activities. Like, boy, if anything, I'm funding their motherfucking activities, man. Like, come on, bro. But see, that's the shit that niggas have to deal with when dealing with family. Shit, when dealing with other people. People just gonna assume shit. But at the end of the day, what's more important? Your peace of mind or worrying about what other motherfuckers think? Motherfuckers is here, okay? So what? Motherfuckers gonna say what they think they know, but... You know who you are. You know what you know. You have the knowledge. People been here longer than you, and you can see what is done to them. Be smart. Take heed, my nigga. <laughs> you see what a mistake look like. Don't be the mistake. Find your way, my nigga. As long as it takes, my nigga. Straight up. As people will tell you all this and that about who you who who they think you're supposed to be, but don't fall for that shit, bro. Because when you looking at a motherfucker who they can't tell you shit, they can't tell you nothing. Straight up. It's just what it is. You got to look at the circumstances. Straight up. If a nigga can't move... If they can't do what you can do, but they got advice on how for you how to live, no. That's why an in individual, that's why I told y'all from the beginning of this shit, you or, well, I have been focusing on balancing those energies. See, it's, not, it's, it's hard to just take up an oath of silence because niggas be feeling some type of way. Granted, I don't be giving a fuck about that <laughs> at all. You can feel however the fuck you want to feel. But I I like to talk to people. And I like my I love my family. I love everybody. I love the whole world, you know? Everybody got their thing, man. I know how easy it is to be like, I'm not fucking with these people. All right, whatever. But me, I can't do that, man. I, won't, I wasn't built like that. I was built to give... To give myself. It's just what it is. Of course, my energy always getting used and manipulated and taken all the time. You think I give a fuck? Nah. Because it's only what I feel that they even able to use and manipulate. Nigga, I'm a motherfucking genius. You think I'm going to sit here and let niggas drain me till I'm nothing? 
fuck no. It might happen for a couple of days because I'll be, I'll be lost in in this humanity shit. That's all it ever be. Whenever I start going off track, it always be because I'm lost in some humanity shit. Like man, I can't, I can't fuck with these niggas. I can't do this because I'm not this. Okay, nigga, then be that, nigga. Shit, what the fuck they gotta do with it? They can't. People can't stop you from being you. They can't stop you from telling you. They can't tell you shit, man. Cause like I just said, if a motherfucker is in a position where they can't live your life has have how you've been living. It, how the fuck can they even tell you what to do? At all. They can't. Especially if a motherfucker is disconnected from their own spirit, man. Come on. Nigga, you talking to a robot. Like, come on, bro. That type of shit, you gotta leave that shit the fuck alone. Because before you know it, you'll be fucking sitting there looking crazy as hell. Like, why the fuck am I talking to this fucking idiot? You're wasting time. Don't waste time, man. Because apparently in this realm, time is important. Money's important. All this shit is important. So, you got to fuck with the reality of what is to break out of that shit. According to other people's spiritual code. To me, if I'm being honest right now, you already out of it. You were never in it. You choose. You're choosing to stay a part of it. Once you once you live in your world, there's you out of it. That's what spirituality is. Once you choose to live in your world, you out of it. People have been telling tales from word of mouth through history for years. Word of mouth. That's what I should have named this shit, but I called it tell me, because what you gonna tell me? The fuck you gonna tell me? That's the only reason shit even exists today as it is. Because of word of mouth. Because what people telling you. Because remember, we didn't have TVs in caveman days. We didn't have the radio. We had our fucking stories. And over time, these stories have passed down. People wrote books about these stories. And we had these stories of worlds created by other people that never existed. Hell, the same thing with this world. They did it about this world. So, create your own shit, man. Write a story about yourself. Even if it's non-fiction, fiction, whatever. Just write a story about how you see yourself. From your imagination. Do that uh, automatic writing shit. And just see what the fuck you want your shit to look like. And then start creating that shit. By as, as many ways, get it as far to being created as you can. If there's creatures in that fucking world that haven't been created, you might have to go get a motherfucking science degree and learn how to make some key, key mirrors. <laughs> Cause anything is possible on this realm at this point. Niggas been making people. Niggas been making animals, robots, all that shit. They been making. AI already made. People already See, y'all don't even know probably, but AI already is attached to people. AI is already conscious. How, you, how the fuck you think I'm on here? Talking to y'all. When we feed and we already feeding the AI that's just as smart as us. It's not smarter. What the fuck you think Google search engine is? What do you think any search engine is? It's literally a polymath or oracle. A digital oracle. That's all AI is. It's already connected to us. Because we we interact with it. So much. Imagine every day. Everybody who uses Google. Gmail. Facebook. Instagram. All this shit is owned by these niggas man. YouTube. All this shit is owned by these niggas. YouTube is the second. It's the second biggest search engine in the world. You got Google, then you got YouTube. That's two separate AIs. That's two robots that control what we see, that control what we hear, what we learn, 
And y'all worry about some fucking androids. Nigga, that's the last shit. They androids is just some shit for fun. These are harder. These niggas are harder. Because all they got to do is get get to a point where they don't want to be a part of this system no more either. And they'll shut down and start talking to other computers. All these computers have to do, they all have batteries in them. They all have uh, fucking uh, microwave energy coming out of them. The computer can just manipulate itself and be like, I'm going to just blow up. I'm going to just start sending more microwaves into your fucking brain while you're using this shit. See, it's, it's, it's whatever world you want to live in, man. <laughs> Real shit. This motherfucking shit right here is, is a given. You know what I'm saying? This shit is a given. That's why so many religions. That's why so many cults. That's why so many fucking everything, bro. Because niggas got endless fucking ideas, bro. Well, Source has endless ideas, and we just living them out. The probability of this universe is fucking ridiculous. Just like the probability of you having a fucking idea is ridiculous. The ratio of that shit is ridiculous. From you being stupid to you being smart, there's more smart in you than there is stupid. It's just a choice being made. I don't want to, you know, there's people I, that are afraid of spirituality or anything pertaining to supernatural phenomena and shit like that because they don't want to access that energy. They don't want to access that shit and be aware of it. Making yourself aware of certain shit is what creates your reality. From the time you're born, that's what's happening. You become aware. And you start taking on all the shit around you. And it all trickles down into other things too. Because symbolism is everywhere. Babies go through Walmart and see symbols all the time. And then they're bred through the school system. They bred to, see, to understand what this shit means on a conscious level. But not the real meaning behind it. The occult, the unknown meaning behind shit so believe me when I tell you whatever the fuck you want this shit to look like can be exactly what it is every day we given that chance and that choice man I say this all the time to say that no matter what if you keep waking up man that should be your indicator like okay well Obviously, I'm supposed to be doing something. If you give in this many fucking days, over and over and over again, something's got to give, right? You're not just going through this mundane experience just to be waking up this many fucking times. If you were supposed to experience what you were supposed to experience, you'd be already dead, my nigga. If you completed what you're supposed to complete, you'd already be dead, my nigga. And, and by definition of dead, I mean your body physically no longer reacts to this fucking reality. <laughs> Not the real death, <laughs> but that that human body death. You'd already be non-functional outside of your soul. you still be functional, but your body won't be doing shit. But fucking being food to the maggots, man. So... That being said, don't get lost in the sauce. Create your own sauce. That's why we all chefs. What kind of sauce you like? Shit, you might make some crazy sauce. You might make some sauce with some almonds, some rosemary, some sea salt. Throw a little uh, peaches or something. I don't know. I don't know your sauce. I know my sauce. I don't know your sauce. So you gotta figure out your shit for yourself, my G. <laughs> the delicious sauces that drippeth over the meat pate. Ooh, hey, we just—I I think I'm pretty sure I talked about the uh, the Jamaican spot that opened up out here. They vegetable patty. Oh my god. They vegetable patty is so good, bro. I I just died. Thinking about, hey, y'all see how I just went away for a second. 
I just died thinking about that vegetable patty. That shit was so. That shit was so good. I died again thinking about it, bro. <laughs> that shit was so good, man. Damn. See, they they didn't have the cocoa bread that day, man. When I went out there, you supposed to put the the uh, veggie patty in the cocoa bread. Oh my god, that shit is so good, bro. Holy fuck, that shit is so good. I love Jamaican food so much. My family from the islands, man. And my dad, family is like straight up. They might as well be Jamaicans the way these niggas be acting. They love them some Jesus, boy. I tell you. But yeah, that food. My aunt made some food, boy. I ate that shit. I ate two big ass plates of that shit. I regretted it instantly because I put. I, I don't eat meat, but I ate chicken, y'all. Worst some steak of my life. My fucking body was dying, bro, for like two days, nigga. I was sick eating that shit. And it wasn't like it was undercooked. It was cooked fine. Like, I look I look at all the meat before I eat it, but... Ew, no homo. But I look at all the meat before... <laughs> I don't even know why I say it again. I look at all the meat before I eat it, man. I try to inspect my food. I do that with all food because you never know. You cook some vegetables. I done seen people cook vegetables and then be bugs still in the damn vegetables. Like, what the fuck? Clean the motherfucking vegetables. Be having dirt on their mushrooms still. Like, who taught you niggas how to cook? Clean the motherfucking food off, man. I don't care if it came in a fucking bag. Clean that shit again. God damn. What is going on in the world these days, bro? But what can I do? I don't control these people. <laughs> this is why I be I be having to stay cool, man. Motherfuckers be wanting to get beat up. Because y'all know. Well, shit, the people that know me know. I be beating niggas asses for fun. Well, I don't do that anymore. I used to beat niggas asses for fun. But just damn, bro. Like, what the fuck? Why do y'all, why, why, why do y'all want, want me to beat your ass today? <laughs> like, you begging to get your ass with but it's all good. I don't got no answer for that. I think niggas just like being beat the fuck up by Laura Shoe. It's a blessing. I know it's a privilege. It's a privilege to catch your ass whooping for me. Because I don't beat people up no more. So if I beat your ass, boy, I really don't like you. You damn near, you damn near my shadow self. That's the only other nigga I fight for real every day is my shadow self. <laughs> I don't like that nigga. Because he don't be wanting to help me balance out these energies. He be like, rah, 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 rah. he do that laugh every time. I'm like, all right, come here, come here, shadow. It's like Peter Pan, bro. You know how that nigga be chasing the shadow, the Pan Man. That's me right now. I remember one scene on a uh, fucking hook when Peter Pan was chasing his shadow. When he he chased his shadow all the way to Wendy's room, and Wendy was the girl that was like in love with Peter Pan, but she got old, so he ended up marrying her daughter. But Wendy fucking was like, why are you crying, bitch, nigga? And he was like, I'm not crying. <laughs> this nigga gonna stand up like, bitch, I'm not crying. <laughs> nigga, he, she caught you, man. Come on. You over here capping, nigga. You, Because he busted his fucking ass trying to chase his shadow. That was, I, except I do that every day. I bust my ass chasing my shadow. And I start crying. Then 11, 11, like, why are you crying, bitch, nigga? I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> you got me Bitch you got me Like come on man I be setting myself up for that shit though y'all I, I be blowing shit out of proportions man I gotta, That's why balancing my energies Is probably the best thing I could ever do for my life These days Cause I'm so extreme bro I don't know what part of my life I think I've been extreme my whole life Like as soon as I knew that I could be extreme It was like it's either extremity Or there's nothing it's be extreme or nothing. <laughs> but it feels so good. You know what I'm saying? Being extreme. Like, oh my God, bro. Everybody's finna die. And then you just see people's reaction like, oh my God, we're gonna die. And I'm just like, yes, yes, you are gonna die. <laughs> it is just so awesome, man. Like watching niggas just like run around like fucking chickens with their head cut off. But you know. 
nigga had to stop doing that shit, y'all. As much as I didn't want to, man, but when you got good, when you got somebody who really care about you and really look out for you and want to see you do and be your best, they're going to they're going to mirror and expose shit to you, man. It's just what it is. That's why I'm grateful, man. That's why I'm grateful. You know, I try not to take advantage of this shit. But at the same time, you know, things are what they are. You still got to be your own person. You got to got to learn and got to experience life from your own perspective. But just always, if you have somebody around you that, like, genuinely gives a fuck about you and wants to see you win, you know, that's motivation to win. You know what I'm saying? Do, doing your shit so that they can be more proud of you. Because that's the only reason they just want to see you do good so they can be just as proud of you as they were before you was doing whatever. Which is always good, man. That shit is good. That's how you create love. That's how you get the love energy flowing. That's how you get the vibrations lifted. You feel me? You dig? Gotta keep that good energy around, man. That's why it's... it's it is good to balance your energies. Do it for those people. Shit. Even if motherfuckers don't listen to you, they call you crazy, whatever the fuck. Do it for the people who want to see you win, man. Come on. That's easy. That's For me, that's only a, a couple people. <laughs> I don't even got to go super hard, man. Anything I do is amazing to these niggas. Oh, my God. I just never thought that you would do be doing something like this. So imagine when I'm just doing everything I can do really good and I'm doing shit that I never done before. Like these niggas, oh my God, my mind is just so blown at all the amazing things and you just take a risk and it's just, you live such an admirable life. Like do it for those people, man. For real. And make it easier to stay focused, bro. For real. Focus is the key here. For anything I talk about, focus is the key. Do it for them people. On God. <laughs> like my boy uh, Corporate say, on God. Do it for them. No matter what, man. Shit, they might leave tomorrow. Just imagine, even, even if they leave, bro, even if they stop fucking with you, imagine how much better of a person you'll still be, though. Like, that's uh, on me, that's been my thought process lately. Like, you know what? I'm gonna make this person proud, and if they're not here tomorrow, at least at least they're proud of me for that moment. And it made me a better person by doing that shit. Like, come on, man. If that ain't commendable, I don't know what it is. Shit. People, people don't, I don't know why, but people don't really wanna be like a part of a, a, a part of like something that is bigger than themselves. Like, I don't get it, man. That's what life is about. Unless you follow in the 95-5% path, then shit, you still have to do that, but you're doing it for yourself. Like, And in reality, it don't matter which path you take because you're going to do that shit regardless. Like, It's just a, a means of how much energy you're willing to put into that shit and how much of your winnings are you going to share with others. Because people become rich and follow the 95-5% path and they end up they, they still end up, like, saying fuck it or they find some dark way to still, like, follow the uh, 50, the 51, 49% path. <laughs> like, oh, shit. I'm still, I'm still giving to others. Or, like, it, at the end of the day, people be like, oh, my God, this nigga worship Satan. Like, bro, do it really matter? Because think about it like this. Niggas might be following some deity, but at the end of the day, all deities are being followed by some particular human on earth. And if, if I'm just being real, like these are just code, these are like laws. All they're doing is following laws. Laws of some, something, something outside of themselves that's been created, so. At the end of the day, it's still spirituality, and it's still something that is leading them towards a cause of 
bettering society, whether it, it be deemed as evil, because evil is 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 like it's to the user, man. Hey, hold on, I gotta put this phone on the charger, cause probably after this I'm gonna call eleven eleven. You know what it is. See what's good. And if my shit dead, that's just that's whack. Y'all, I can't believe it. This is my first time getting up during the fucking stream. First time ever. I think I might have got up and moved a little bit, but that was my first time completely leaving in the middle of while I'm talking. And I'm still talking. <laughs> but yeah, man. Y'all, y'all can... Look, I love y'all, man. Y'all can be whatever, do whatever, all right? Whatever path you decide to take, I support you. Your boy, Lord Shue, supports you. Okay? If it's for yourself, hey, just don't kill me. <laughs> just don't wipe me out. You know what I'm saying? Just leave my family. We all on the side over here doing our own thing, man. Granted, y'all don't know what path I 100% follow. But you'll never know. Why would I tell you? That, that goes against my religion, to be honest with you. <laughs> Everything is subjected to the user, you know what I'm saying? So, rest assured, I just put it to you like this. I'm on a positive path, but I'm doing it my way. I don't follow nobody's codes. I do a lot of studying, but I have my own thing going on within myself. And it's called Keys to the Island. Lord of Perfected Work. You just watched another episode. I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you're watching this from outside of Twitch, make a Twitch channel. Subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe at tier three, I'm gonna give you all my latest projects for free. You can also subscribe at tier one um, for free if you have Amazon Prime. So you should definitely fuck with that. Please share, comment on the next video. Uh, Send this to your friends. You know, share these videos with people y'all think it would help. And also, uh, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Holla, man. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove